What's up guys? My name is Kof, and uh, we're back with another video on World of Tanks. Uh, today, I'm going to look at uh, some of my favorite tanks to grind credits in. Uh, and we're going to have some live gameplay. So, what are the three tanks, three to four tanks I'm going to be talking about? Probably just the three today. Uh, I'm going to choose one preferential matchmaking tank. And then two tanks that just have incredible pin for tier 8. So, my first pick is the T26 E4 Super Pershing. It's an American medium tank at tier 8, obviously, because it is a tier 8 premium. It has a 90mm gun, which has kind of garbage uh, DPM, but it's fairly accurate at tier 8. Uh, it's got pretty good gun handling stats. And uh, they recently buffed the, well, not, I guess fairly recently, uh, buffed the penetration of the tank uh, so that it is um, competitive at tier 8. Um, however, this is my preferential matchmaking tank pick, so um, this can't meet tier 10s. So with the uh, increased penetration, you only have to carry... A small amount of uh, premium rounds, even though the premium rounds on this tank are amazing. Um, so, with that being said, let's get into the first game, and I will see you guys in there. And here we are. First battle will be on Karelia. We are against tier sixes, which is rather rare, if I'm not mistaken, for um, the tier eight premium tanks or the preferential matchmaking tanks. So, um, it's kind of a delight to see. Uh, tanks we really need to worry about are obviously the tier 8s. Um, some of the tier 7s can easily go through the, uh, the frontal armor of this tank. But you kind of want to play this as like a, a, a support heavy kind of, kind of vehicle. Uh, as my entire team apparently wants to uh, camp the base. I'm going to go down low. I prefer going down to the low side here. I'm using my 10 degrees of compression. Fairly decent mobility and fairly decent armor to farm us some credits. Gonna go ahead and heal that stun. And we're just gonna go to town on this super pershing, yes. He doesn't know what he's doing, apparently. Uh, one thing you can do with this tank is just put your gun up, and it'll kind of block the, um, the weak spots. And you want to wiggle your tank as much as possible without actually uh, exposing the side of your turret or anything like that. So we're going to put another one into the super person, tracking him in place, which is always a great sign. Uh, we're going to get rushed by an AT-8, it would appear, so... <laughs> Pretty bad decision. I swear to God, this cat is about to die. Oh my gosh, dude, really? Uh, I've talked up the gun handling already. Don't fail me now. There we go. Uh, another arty shell coming in from the tier seven artillery. Uh, the VK 3101 p The enemy team is just constantly putting shells on me, which is really annoying. Right, I'm gonna turn my sword sideways back up. Nope. Turn it back forward. Drive forward. Okay. AT8's back up, and he is going to be taken down, hopefully, with that shot. Yes, it's fine to take the shot from the RD here. Securing our first kill of the game. Up to a thousand damage. We're gonna take a shell from the C29 here, most likely, as we are going to be driving for the open. But we got to aggress this fight on this side of the map. Otherwise, we will just end up losing. Uh, I believe that if you don't move on this map, you end up losing the game. So, there's the 3001. Plan a shot right into this ball. Now, I don't believe that tank actually got buffed whenever it moved from medium to heavy tank. I think I left it pretty much the exact same as it always has been. Uh, this T29 is actually playing this um, 
pretty well. But we're still going to snipe this Coppola because I just have a better aim than this guy. Um, now, if it seems like I know how to play this tank, um, it is because this is my most played tank on, uh, on any account, I believe. I don't remember. It may be the KV-2 on my original account. Uh, don't worry, guys. I didn't buy this account. So, for those of you who have never caught uh, one of my live streams of me playing on my original account, uh, my original account, when I made it, I had uh, satellite internet because I live in the uh, sticks. And uh, with satellite internet, this game is not the easiest to play. Uh, it used to be actually fairly uh, okay. And then. Uh, one patch, they completely changed the way that uh, the pinging worked for high ping uh, connections. So, like really high ping connections. I'm talking satellite internet ping. So six to seven hundred ping uh, all the time. I don't really know how I played this game with that. Uh, it also had really low download speeds. So uh, that was kind of annoying also, having to deal with. Uh, I can just let my team clear a little bit more, I guess. Or I can get aggressive on this T29. I think I'm going to do that instead. Uh, I guess we're going to be over the top of him. Looking for a scorpion. That's like sliding. Now he's turned his turret. Now we just plant on him down. And gun block. Or not. And bye bye T29. So, with uh, the whatever patch that was where they changed the uh, pinging system, well, not really the. The way that ping works in the game, I, I think they just like changed servers or whatever. And it really kind of like screwed up the way I play, played the game at the time. Um, so, then I still didn't have like broadband or, or DSL or anything like that so I just used uh, phone data for a while and then I was like hey huh, I'm doing a lot better with this phone data so let's just uh, make a new account right and uh, see how well I can do so within about um, let's see two to three weeks nice you just shot my hole I think yeah um, Within like, I think two to three weeks, I was up massive amounts of uh, recent W and eight. I, I did actually check my stats back then for some reason. It's just like I kind of knew about them at the time, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I can check these. This is cool." And so after that, I kind of just uh, made a new account. So that's the story of that. Not a bad game here. So. We're gonna go on into the next one. And what will be next is another American tank. This time, the old school tier nine American heavy tank, the T-30. Now you might see that I am running with a turbo on this vehicle. That is because they buffed the, um, the specific power of this vehicle uh, when about the same time they buffed all the premium um, preferential matchmaking tanks. Uh, I decided to um, start running a turbo on this because they uh, upped the engine power, I believe, from 860 to uh, 930, I guess. So, with, uh, yeah, 930. I believe it was 860 before. It had the same engine as the stock T30, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, with that being said, uh, the reason uh, this is one of the ones that I am featuring in today's video of like the best credit grinders for me is uh, just because 400 alpha is insanely good at tier 8 and should never be underestimated. It doesn't have great DPM, but it's not terrible. 
but the big thing with this tank is it has 248 millimeters of pin. You can pin everything at tier 8, everything at tier 9, with the exception of maybe a Type 4 Heavy with your standard rounds pretty easily. Uh, it's a very accurate tank. It's actually more accurate than the, um, than the Super Pershing. So, um, yeah. With that being said, let's uh, hop on into it. And now we are against Stirtons on Highway, which kind of sucks, but at least we get to show off the amazing pin of the T-34. Um, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we don't just get wrecked by like a 277 or a U100 or a combination of the two. Um, so, I like to play this kind of like the T-30, uh, with the exception of the fact that I use a, a vertical stabilizer instead of vents, because I don't believe you can use a vertical stabilizer on a T-30, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure I'm right. Um, so, yeah. So... I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Most of my team is going. Oh, we got spots on the cross. That's great. That's outstanding. That's fabulous. Come on, are you? No, don't run away. Go spot again. See, that is why you should ping at the beginning of the game that you're going to spot that. And he did, actually, and nobody listened. Okay, that's cool. So I'm going to play a little bit further back in this game, I think. Just let. Um, some of my higher tier heavies, some of my more heavily armored heavies um, take a bit of the brunt of the fight. Whereas I will just... Maybe shoot through there. Oh no, I shouldn't have shot that shot. He's not even going to turn to look at me. Do I get the kill here? Free kill on a... No, nope. okay. <laughs> Worth a, uh, a try. We can safely move up to the trains. Don't have a side shot on the 268. It doesn't appear. However, if he moves forward anymore... He will. Actually... We had a shot at the E100, completely missed it, and uh, I'm now sitting out in the open, so always a great thing. So anyway, um, why am I making a video on credit grinders? Well, I think it is about time, now that the uh, yearly season of ranked is over, is he just gonna... is he out in the open? Yes. Yes, yes. And now we get to see the, the amazing bit. Um, so, the uh, reason I'm making this video is uh, I think it's about time for me to start my billion credit grind. Um, I don't know how fun this is gonna be for me. Uh, but I get to play a lot of, of uh, a tier that I don't really play a lot of. So, uh, I don't play a lot of tier 8s, I play mostly tier 10s being um, in a fairly high tier clan. Uh, and you get to fire a lot of gold when you play a relatively high tier clan wars. because I'm not going to be able to get out of here by the time he reloads. Yep. Uh, yeah, but I think it's time for me to um, start my billion credit grind. Uh, I've been selling a lot of tanks and uh, all that, so... Billion credits sounds like a great idea. Don't know how far I'm going to get. Um, or how long it would take if I do do the whole thing. 
mainly just calling it a billion credit grind because I'm not 100% sure about how far I want to get and how much uh, I can actually end up doing. So let's get on into the next one and I can uh, continue it. Next is uh, a tank that I'm not exactly 100% fond of. But hey, I can uh, accelerate crew training now because I do have all of the field mods on it. Um, unfortunately, guys, uh, you might be seeing this tank again um, in the near future. So, yeah. There's that. Uh, so, why exactly am I featuring um, one of the lowest DPM tanks uh, at the high tiers of World of Tanks in this video? Well, it doesn't miss a lot, and uh, it has incredible base pin, and even better uh, premium pin, with 400 alpha damage, so every shot is going to count, and I believe that the premium rounds are actually rather expensive on the stack, never mind. Uh, it's got good horsepower per ton, um, with the turbo. Um, you can actually get the view range up quite high with um, stuff like vents and uh, and uh, coated optics. I don't have a second setup for this sink. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and set one up just in case I get into like a long range kind of game. So this is what I would run if I was in that situation. Just give me the full um, 445 meters view range. Uh, this is more for like if I'm bottom tier on like a Prokhorovka, I guess. Where you're not going to be moving like a, a ton, but you can still kind of um, spot your opponents and stuff like that. So. Uh, for every other map, pretty much though, uh, it's gonna be turbo vents or ammer, just because um, I, I think the mobility uh, boost from the turbo is actually quite good. Now I know it's gonna hurt your DPM, but then again, like this tank has garbage DPM even with a um, vents. So let's hop into it, and I'll finish my story about the credit gun. Okay, this time I'm gonna make you watch the uh, <laughs> the pretty much whole 30 second beginning of the game. Um, as I very much dislike this map. So, a uh, billion credits may or may not actually be possible for me. Uh, I don't have a ton of credit boosters or anything like that. I have uh, less than 100 hours of them. Uh, I was doing some like internal calculations in my head and whatever. So if you can make half a million credits an hour or a million credits an hour depending on how you play. Uh, it's uh, getting close to like 100 million I think with all of the credit boosters that I have available to me. Ooh, I should've put it up top. I didn't even think about this. I forgot. I always forget that this map has been changed, honestly. And I, I really want to try out the, uh, the new positions here. Because I think they're rather strong. So one thing you can do now is you can actually dig yourself in right here. You go hold down and fire around at this point. You know, block the shot. Nice. Get the spawning for it. He's still out in the open. I'm not going to reload before he will, but I can try and bait him into coming back up to shoot me again. Or just spot him out. Okay, that's perfect. 90 seconds gone. So is this working? Um. But yeah, I don't, I don't know for a 100% fact that a uh, billion credits is even going to be possible for me. Uh, but I will be trying my hardest. Uh, 
I'll get a lot of crew experience and stuff out of this though, because I I do have a ton of other boosters. And then after that, I think uh, after my challenge, I guess, is complete, I might just have to. Uh, go for every tank in the game, I guess. There's not much left for me to do after that. Um, obviously, a big goal of mine for the last uh, couple of years has been uh, to get uh, all the way up to 1600 overall. Uh, and 7000 PR. Uh, those are like two of my big goals that I've had for myself for a couple of years now. And uh, yeah. Obviously, one of the goals has been achieved, uh, not in the way that I was expecting when I joined Vibe, and I was uh, put on A team to start the last tank campaign. Uh, I really kind of expected to um, to get uh, reward tanks for like actually playing. Uh, I wasn't expecting to have to work, or or, or just them changing the system to where uh, me working for two nights in a two week period uh, completely screwed me out of um, getting a tank. So that was kind of annoying. I wonder how the sync uh, reverse side scripts. But yeah, uh, obviously, anytime you are playing a tank with like, or a, not a tank, uh, a, a game with like a tech tree or, or whatever, uh, you really want to like grind it out and get everything in the game. Uh, I would like to do that. I'd like to have all the tier tens. Um, some of them aren't great. Oh come on! I know for a fact that there are some that I am gonna dislike grinding for. But that is completely a okay. There's no way he spotted me. Come on, dude. Yeah, he didn't. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm still not spotted. Uh, this patriot just needs to fall back. Uh, the Brigetto doesn't know I'm here, actually. Now he does. That sucks. But he's still gonna drive straight. Into him. That's great. Um. So yeah. Billion credits, then um, try and get all the tier tens unlocked, um, and potentially purchase every tank in the game. I guess after that, and then I can do some some weird stuff with like um, showing like the difference between seventy-five percent crews, fifty percent crews, stuff like that. Just show you how really big some of these differences are. Oh my god, you pushed me all the way out here, you little bastard. Now this is gonna be one heck of a game. Holy crap. I can get up on here. I don't know that I'm gonna be hauled down though. That's the unfortunate part. That's the first damage I've taken in this entire five minutes. Aha, uh -huh. come on, I hit it. Oh, this is this is getting really bad really quick. Uh, Progetto is going to go around the other direction, which is fine. But I can still clap the chariot here, or the E5. This is going to be the best loss of the year right here. Yep. 4K combined. Not as good as... Uh, there's another game I've had in Stink so far, uh, this week. <laughs> but yeah, uh, these have been some rather short games, so there might be a highlight of another vehicle that I enjoy grinding credits on. So, um, yeah, uh, my goals uh, for right now are uh, as many credits as possible, uh, grind out the rest of the tech tree, and... Um, 1600 WNA overall. Uh, I believe uh, the fastest way or the fastest like um, 
bit of <laughs> W and 8 that I've gotten uh, per day would be like two or three. And those were days that I was getting um, a, a W and 8 for the day of like uh, between two and three thousand. Uh, obviously, I, I want to aim for three thousand W and 8 a day um, at like the minimum. Some days I just play like absolute um, dog poo poo. So some days this is just not possible for me. Um, but other days it's very easy. So I don't know. I know there was no uh, in between there. Yeah. But. Yeah. So the uh, <laughs> last tank I want to feature. Oh no, I don't know which one I want to feature. It's got to be the Renegade. I have to feature the Renegade. This is my favorite tier 8 premium of all time, I believe. Um, 10 degrees of gun depression. It's got like 400 base view range, I think. It's fast. You don't even need to use a turbo on this tank. Uh, it's got a great gun. It's got insane DPM, and it's got 226 millimeters of pen on a premium tank, which is rather good for um, making credits. Uh, I believe that the premium rounds are rather lacking. Yes, 255. They are rather lacking in the premium round department. But this is just an all-round beaut of a tank. Obviously, one, um, one thing that's going to be left out uh, of the list is uh, unfortunately going to be like light tanks. Right. So one great thing about light tanks is you can make a astronomical amount of credits with um, without shooting very many rounds. You just get in a bush and just kind of farm credits. It's a really good thing about light tanks. Uh, it's not good for your W unit whatsoever, but it is what it is. So, uh, what is the Renegade? The Renegade is a um, I believe the same turret is a T95E6 on the hull of a T54E1. I remember that correctly. Um, so it is a tier 10 and a tier 9 tank combined. And I believe it has the same uh, mobility stats as a T125. Or not a T125, uh, but a. That was just an uh, awful shot. Um, as the T-54E1, sorry. Uh, so yeah, it, it's literally a tier 9 combined with a tier 10 at tier 8 with a different uh, alpha damage, basically, is what it has. Now this tank has a boat-shaped hull, which is outstanding for side scraping. armor to have the ability to go hold down pretty much on most maps. Yikes. How many shots have I missed in a row now? Man, yikes. So bad. Now, uh, this tank, like the T-175, also has the ability to, uh, go and fight up close with little to no issues. Might take a shell for this. Maybe not. We're going to check this corner around. See what's going on. None of the ATVs are back here. But there is a Pershing. That's the problem I'm uh, thinking of. But yeah, we can just put a shot in right there, or not. Try to bait him into shooting me. Or he's just not even gonna look at me. There's the Pershing. Haha, -ha, bitch. Come on, come back out. Oh my 
gosh, I shouldn't have said anything about the gun handling this tank. So the gun, as you can see, is actually quite garbage on this vehicle. That is an M445. That is not something to be worried about. Obviously, I'm side scraping around the wrong side of this corner. Um, but it's okay. When you can just hide your weak spot, and um, obviously the, the player that you're fighting against ends up just bouncing off of you anyway. It's a sweaty game so far. I'm going to take a shell here from the C-34. Or not. That's okay. That's another kill. We head back to this. Dude, I'm... Hard carrying this game. Maybe I find the shot on the SU? No. I will find this kill on the T-25. I need to stop talking about finding things. Uh, this Progetto is going to get absolutely demolished because he is going to play me when I'm all down. Panic. Somebody panicked. Ooh, are we gonna get Top Gun gameplay? Oh, shit. That was easy money. Uh, my team should be able to get the reset off in time. It's turning into quite the game, and uh, <laughs> the commentary has uh, begun to go away. Oh gosh, give me the kill. No, I gotta drive all the way across the map to try and kill one of the Arties with a T-29. Then get the top gun for the video. Oh no. But with the mobility of the M54 Renegade, we do actually have the ability to get there in time to uh, potentially save the KV-3. I might actually not do that. I might just let them die, honestly. Uh, I guess I can save them. Or not. I shouldn't have even said anything. Got a top gun. He's gonna steal that kill on the RD. There's my top gun. I forgot that train track was there. Let's go. Seven kills. Maybe 500 damage. Easy game. Right there. Z back in the garage for all of the post game stats. Here we are with the post game stats. Uh, overall, it was really only one uh, stinker of a game. The other three were uh, rather decent. Um, high caliber in the first game on Corellia in the. T26E for Super Pershing. Uh, no bonus credits here. Um, 3,000 damage. Just under 1,100 base experience. We did get 50,000 bonus credits, but either even if we did not get that 50,000 bonus credits, we'd still make an 89,000 credit profit for our 3,000 damage dealt. Also got a juicy chunk of XP for the crew uh, that I don't even use because I don't have the patent right now. Uh, I have it unlocked, I just don't have it in my garage. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Super Pershing. Highly recommend. Uh, this is just a kind of a fun game. Uh, you don't get to see tier 8s a lot, or tier 6s a lot in your preferential tier 8s. So, uh, that's always fun to play against. Uh, next... 
was the T34. Uh, obviously, uh, not a great game, uh, as most games on highway aren't. Um, uh, we fired five shots at three, pinned two. Not great. Um, but what else? What? That, uh, uh, it's highway. It's one of my least favorite maps in the game, and. I'm not really 100% sure of uh, how to play that one different. Uh, obviously, I didn't aim well, uh, only hitting three out of five and only pinning two of those. But it is what it is, and uh, we move on from that one into the T, the 122TM. Um, this is a fairly good game, uh, 4,200 combined. Uh, which I believe made my mark go up like two and a half percent, which is crazy because the marks on this tank are massively high. Um, top one team in damage, uh, which is always nice. It would appear that we lost the game because we had one more person do zero. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four players that did one shot of damage. Um, our Artie looks like he did pretty much two shots of damage. Um, RM3Y pretty much did four shots of damage. Okay, that's so... Yeah, because it has a 90mm gun. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, three shots from the... Uh, two? Oh, those are some high rolls from T1. Or T103. And then, uh, yeah. We, the <laughs> the SU-130 with three marks of excellence. Uh, the Scorpion and me pretty much carried our team to a defeat there. Um... Even with a loss, we still make 75,000 credits profit. And finally, the final game on um, Insk, which is not normally a map that I would say is a uh, is a great a map for the Renegade. Uh, ended up getting seven kills and uh, 3,600 damage, so not bad whatsoever. Uh, it ended up being like 4,100 combined, which is always fun. And always welcome. Uh, 1389 base XP is only a first class, obviously, as uh, this is one of the most pre played premium tanks in the entire game. Uh, with the 40,000 bonus credits on top of the 108,000 that we made with a premium account, we ended up totaling uh, 148,000 net. Or gross and 117,000 net credits. So uh, when you when you have your your big time um, games in your tier eight tanks where you do uh, a lot of damage, get a lot of kills, whatever it may be, uh, you end up uh, making a absolute astronomical amount of credits. But that is four high calibers and uh, or two high calibers and four games. This may be the greatest, single greatest gameplay video I will ever make. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, check out the Twitch streams for the uh, billion credit grind. And uh, I will catch you guys next time.